This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK. Right, hello, welcome to my cab. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do this, so I've got multiple cameras set up. I've got my phone filming me here. Oh well, yes, the last right there. I've also got the camera facing this way in the cab. And I've also got a camera facing backwards in the cab. So hopefully we're gonna get every angle covered, but we'll soon see. Not really sure where to start. I mean, this is my cab. So firstly, I'm six foot three and uh, Plenty of headroom, so I mean I can go on tiptoe and like even sort of whoop, jump and uh, yeah, I don't uh, hit the roof, so that's pretty cool. And I'm terribly sorry if you saw my belly wob, but there we go. Right, uh, I don't know where to start. So this is my cab. I mean, so we got. I don't know where to start. I really don't know where to start. Where should we start? Anyway, uh, I'm going to switch the camera over. So we switched the camera over and uh, if I sit on the bed, maybe we can start here. So, this is my view. This is what I see. I'm currently in Andover at Travis Perkins and we are getting tipped. Well, I say getting tipped, we're waiting to be let in. We've got a lorry there. This is my seat. This is where I sit. That's my steering wheel. Uh, and as you can probably note, boots are off. Boots are not allowed on this floor or anywhere else in the cab. The only place boots are allowed are in the footwell. So um, that's rule number one for me. I do not allow boots in the cab. So um, yeah, so uh, let's, let's, let's go and sit into the driver's seat, shall we? So this is exactly my view. And uh, that button there allows the steering wheel to be moved up and down. And when you've got it in the right position, you can obviously see the dash and uh, you know, keys are on the right hand side. Just there. We've got loads of different controls over here that we can use. Uh, we can lift the axles up and down, turn the engine brakes off, the lights for the inside. You see the red lights turn on and off. Um, a load of other things as well. Pretty cool is that I've got an electric uh, sun blind. So if I press that button there, that just comes down. It's all electric. Um, and obviously we've got the diff locks as well always keep my safety hat near to hand because if I just need to jump out I can just whack it on real quickly um, and also some glasses are easy to hand as well um, this is my cigarette lighter in, um, input so it tells me also how many voltage I got on the battery at the moment so it's 25.45 sat nav goes into there and I've got my, my main dash cam which is always on sort of leads over to there in the corner um, my other dash cam I use when I vlog sits there and obviously it just plugs in and um, yeah that's what that's used for. So if we just stand up, hello again SLR and hello again GoPros. So I think I don't need to use my phone at the moment just while I do the next bit. So we have three large cupboards and um, it, obviously different stuff in each one. So in this one I put my Hivers jacket. So um, if it's raining or if it's cold, I can quickly whack that on. In the second cabinet, I tend to put food in. So um, you can't really see that while in there at the moment. So let me just get my phone out and film. So in here I have some beans, no not beans, it's got some soup, some ravioli, some pot noodles, ketchup and vinegar in case uh, I have some chips or something from the chip shop. It's got some packets of crisps to keep me going. So that's what's in that cupboard. And then in, I don't really use this last cupboard. So there's probably nothing in it. I've got some water 
if I uh, want to have a pot noodle or anything like that. And then below these three cupboards, you, I've got two cupboards here, as you can probably see on that camera. Again, this one, there's nothing really in it. That is a cup holder, which normally sits there, but I don't intend to use it. And that is an old taco book, which I no longer use. This one is sort of more reachable from the driver's seat. Not very easily, but um, while you're sat at a traffic light, you can quite easily get in if you want. Deodorant, some air freshener, and uh, it's a box really, so I've got some pens in there. And uh, that's about it, really. So that's what's in the cupboards. Um, if I take a seat back in the driver's seat, we can uh, look what's in underneath these. So I've got two large drawers here. The bottom drawer is what I like to call my cleaning drawer. So I've got uh, earbuds, toothpaste, wet wipes, toothbrush as well as in there. Just bought myself an electric toothbrush. So um, that's all in there. And um, chewing gum as well. That's my, my cleaning cupboard, what I like to call it. Personal hygiene cupboard. Uh, and then the drawer above is kind of my junk cupboard. So I've got all sorts of stuff in there. I've got cables for charging, my taco, um, my daily checks, some gel, some deodorant, my tablet, which I watch stuff on of an evening, which is quite dirty, and um, bits and bobs. Got some fuses in there as well, some hippo tape, and uh, I've got a notebook as well. Carry a notebook on you all the time, just in case you actually need to uh, write anything down. Uh, by the side of me, I've got my fridge. So it's quite dirty inside at the moment, but I've got fridge, I've got mineral rice in there at the moment, a can of Coke, and also it goes all the way back as well, so you can put bottles in as well. Uh, also, if you want to, you can drag it out. So you can drag it out, and that's the, the whole thing. That's my fridge. It sits under the bed. You also get a table, although I don't use it. That lifts up. That comes over, so you've got a table to put stuff on if you want. You can overeat on the seat or on the bed, it's up to you, but it's there either way. I'm going to turn my hazards off because they're quite annoying now. What else can we show you? Um, height indicators up there, so 13 feet and 6 inches. 6 inches, that's what she said. Uh, in the door pockets, I've got some cleaning stuff. And um, that's about it, really. My GoPro sits up there facing me when I'm vlogging. Taco machine is there in case you didn't see it, sunroof and blah de blah. So what else can I show you? So this um, cab, as well as most MAN cabs, have a, um, a bunk bed. So right above you is a bunk bed. You're not going to be able to see it from where you are, but you should be able to see it. So it's secured down. I only really have one in normally, but it is secured up rather. And if you undo them, it still stays up. You just put it down. And then you've got a bunk bed. So now I've got two beds. My girlfriend actually stayed up here when she came with me. Uh, I need to take them home while I think about it. That can stay there. So up here I put some most of my stuff to be honest. So I've got a bag with spare clothes in, underwear, you know, socks and t-shirts and stuff like that. What else is in there? Hoodies and just bits and bobs really, just in case. And then I've got some cleaning stuff in that one. Some more cleaning stuff. I've got loads of cleaning stuff. And then in this green bag, I've got my stove. Not that I use it very often, but if I do want to cook something, I can. Got a stove there, and I can either use it, you know, up here if I wanted to, or down on the bottom, or I can use it outside wherever I really want. But I've got a stove if I want to cook. I don't actually have a frying pan at the moment, so I can't cook if I wanted to, but. What I can do is boil a kettle for pot noodles. So I've got a kettle in there as well and spare gas canisters and some other bits and bobs. And I've also got a brush which while I think about it, I'm gonna take out and put in that cupboard. So if I want to brush, I can. So to put the bed back up, you literally just lift it up. And uh, before I forget, did I turn that off? I know I turned it off, but did I release the hook? No, I didn't. There we go. There's an unlock and a lock 
on the uh, gas canister and if it stays locked sometimes it can leak out gas. Not a problem because I don't smoke but put it up anyway. So yeah you just lift the bed up and um, there you go. This is my bed, this is where I sleep. Um, you're on my bed right now. I suspect you can probably see it from where you are. But that is where I sleep. Um, I've got a spare high vis down there if I need it and yeah I mean it's pretty much it. Not really sure what else I can show you. Um, this is where I work and this is where I live three nights a week at the moment. So it's all good. That's the inside of my cab. So sorry it's brief, but hopefully you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys, check out their online presence, they got a 91.7% first time pass rate and if you quote Luke see you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below.